Hey guys, Crow of Murder 15 here, and today I'm doing a little different video. Uh, today I'm actually doing a review video for an Ultra Saber that I purchased about a couple of months ago. The Initiate V4LE uh, Ultra Saber. And I've had it for about uh, close to three months and decided to do a review on it just to kind of show you the design of it, uh, how well it does in combat as far as doing Sabres combat. And uh, let's take a look at it. So guys, like I said, this is the Initiate V4LE Ultra Saber. Uh, it's got about a little over nine and a half inches on the hilt right here. You can see the gold inlays right here on the grooves. And whenever I purchased it, I actually had the emitter windows added to it with a 36 inch blade. I got a consular green blade right there. I've got to say, I am extremely impressed with this Saber. Um, I've always heard good things about Ultra Sabers, and whenever I joined my Sabers group, this was the first website I went to to do the ordering. Um, it's got a standard guarded uh, ignition switch right here, which honestly I kind of wish I would have gone with the other model. Uh, the uprising right here, I'm just not really a big fan of it, so the um, the other button that actually has a smoother to where it's closer to the hilt itself um, is probably what I'm going to order for the next one whenever I order another saber, because I will be ordering again. Um, but this one's just a standard stunt saber. It ran me roughly around uh, $80, which honestly for a saber of this quality is really, really good. Um, I would recommend this type of saber, or especially this model, um, for one to one and a half handed combat for forms such as Suresu or Ataru. Um, it's really good to grip the blade like right here. But uh, as far as the make, I love this saber. It is definitely a great saber model for beginners, somebody that's just starting to learn how to do saber combat. Um, also, the uh, battery pack is standard. It just has uh, four AAA batteries. Really easy to remove and replace in case the saber start the blade starts to um not be as bright but uh yeah it's it's a great model it's actually got a little bit of a heft to it i've got an ultra mid-grade blade to it like i said a 36 inch blade uh, extra long which is an additional ten dollars but honestly it's well worth the price so uh yeah i highly recommend ultra sabers to anybody that's interested in getting a lightsaber for themselves. Like I said, it's got a, actually a really good balance to it. And I will definitely be ordering from Ultra Sabers again in the near future. So, guys, I hope this has been helpful. Um, I'll have some stats down in the description below if there's anything that I forgot to go over in this video. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope that this has encouraged you to check out Ultra Sabers and get your very own lightsaber. And may the Force be with you.